Hello and welcome to Galaxy News. You're watching News in 5 and I am Vuyo. These are your headlines. Ramaphosa cuts Egypt's stay short as ESCOM crisis deepens. Tremor hamper New Zealand recovery efforts. A four more arrests made by the Hawks in ongoing Etegwini municipality saga. Reset lead singer dies and we give you sports as we wrap up. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has shortened his stay in Egypt and is on his way back to South Africa to meet with ESCOM's board and the Public Enterprise Ministry leadership over the current crisis of load shedding. Ramaphosa, who only arrived in Cairo on Tuesday morning, had a short briefing with SA's delegation comprised of, amongst many others, International Relations and Cooperation Minister Naledi Pando, Defence and Military Veteran Minister Mampisa Nagula, Trade and Industry Minister Ibrahim Patel before meeting with Egyptian head of state Abdel Fattah al Sisi. The African National Congress head was also returning to visit flood victims in the nation's capital. Now, after he had been in Egypt to discuss ways to ease trade and increase economic operations between South Africa and the North African nation. And increasing tremors on a volcanic island in New Zealand have hampered efforts by authorities to recover the bodies of eight people thought to be left on the island two days after it erupted, engulfing dozens of tourists in steam and hot ash. Six people were killed in, on Monday's explosion at White Island, which lies at some 50 kilometers off the mainland, with another eight missing and presumed dead and 30 injured. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern told Reuters report that emergency officials were meeting on Wednesday to determine if a recovery effort could be launched. The Hawks arrested four more Etiquini councillors and three contractors on Wednesday in connection with the 208 million rands Durban solid waste tender. They join a list of 15 others, including former controversial Etiquini mayor Zandile Kumede. The group was apprehended after a year-long investigation by a Hawks Clean Audit Task Team for allegedly receiving gratifications in contravening of the Municipal Finance Act and Municipal Systems Act. The world is mourning the death of Roxette lead singer Mary Frankson. The music star died on Monday at the age of 61 after a long battle with a brain cancer. The music star, who's best known for singing power ballads, It Must Have Been Love and Listen to Your Heart as part of the Swedish band Roxette, left a gap that cannot be easily filled. Mary's family announced that the news of her passing in a statement writing, It is with the greatest sadness that we have to announce that one of our biggest and most beloved love artist is gone unquote the singer who performed at london's second arena in 2015 formed roxette with friend at per jizzle in 1986 now we send our deepest condolences and rest in peace and in sports of the premier league side orlando pirates unveiled german international josen bauer as their new coach on tuesday in a statement released on their official website the buccaneers announced that the 49 year old replaces recently sacked zamalek and pirates Coles Mitchell, who left the club abruptly three months ago on a three-year contract. Now, Series A side Napoli has parted ways with former Real Madrid coach Carlo Ancelotti after guiding his side to the Champions League last 16 on Tuesday night. Napoli finished Group E a single point behind leaders Liverpool with a 4-0 win over Genk. Now, for more of these news, go to our website and also leave your comments in all our social media platforms. From myself and the News in 5 team, we'll see you guys tomorrow.